In this video, we're sharing a new project. It's the Sentimatic Video Player with Smell-O-Vision technology. A new state-of-the-art retro video player that lets you smell all the classic holiday goodness. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Today we're breaking down a new project. It's my new Sentimatic video player. Now, about six months ago, I came up with the idea for this project uh, to be a modern, retro, whimsical, high-tech holiday heirloom. And as the weeks pass, the idea grew on me, and finally, it's time is now. I present to you the Sentimatic Television. It brings memories to life in a way like never before. Well, actually, while Smell-O-Vision was introduced in the early 1960s, it really never gained any traction in any mainstream forums. But chances are you're probably familiar with the unmistakable effect it adds to Walt Disney and Disneyland attractions like Soarin', or Haunted Mansion, or Pandora Rides and Attractions. To that degree, this project was intended to bring the same experience to the holidays, to families and special friends alike, and if nothing more than to bring some joy and inspiration to others in this heck of a year holiday closure. So what is it? How does it work? Well, let's break that down. The idea was to make a device that can play video and emit scents at key points during the video playback. The device would be preloaded with fragrance oil specific to the videos that it plays. Scents such as fire, pine tree, fresh air, candy, cookies, peppermint, and cocoa. Basically scents that make you feel warm and cozy and bring back memories. While there are lots of ways to make something like this, my strategy would consist of the following components. An automated video playback device, a way to change multiple scents during playback, a way to sync the scent to the video, as well as a bunch of buttons and design to make it all look good. After lots of thought and design, I landed on the following concept. I would use a Pi Zero to playback an MPEG encoded video from the SD card. The prepared videos would be encoded with scent data in a high frequency of the audio track. A small circuit would extract that servo data from the audio track. The Pi Zero would then process the extracted data to control the fan and position of a servo to select the correct scent. With the concept in place, I dove into Fusion 360 to mock up a design. To bring the modern retro look together, I took my arcader experience and incorporated inspiration from classic holiday displays and retro cartoons like the Jetsons. I modeled the television cabinet and bezel to complement those themes using a wooden body, plastic bezel, and brass knobs as key elements to carry through the design. The display is a 3.2 inch ILI 9341 SPI LCD screen. It's a complicated part number for a display that'll give you crisp video and good playback on the Pi Zero. The TV has four selection buttons on its face to allow the user to playback one of four preloaded movies. And with that, now that I had the design and style, I still had to figure out how to accomplish the multi-cent servo component thingamajig. After a day of brainstorming, I landed on a design that would work. I liked it enough to even name the project after it. It's called the Sentimatic Assembly, which consists of the following. A Pi controlled blower fan which pushes air through ports over a scent wheel. The scent wheel, designed like an old water paddle wheel, has 12 symmetrical pockets around the edge. The pockets contain saturated felt scent pads which are rotated to expose a single scent to the airstream that's flowing around the wheel. The port incorporates strategic shapes to mix and send the scent out the front of the TV ports. The ducts were a three-part assembly to allow for them to be printed and resin and snapped together. The enclosure is designed to be milled from dark walnut on a CNC. All of the brass will be milled on a 5-axis pocket NC. With the enclosure and tricky parts designed, I had the board shape laid out and it was time to pull that into Altium and design the circuit for the project. By the way, this video is sponsored by Altium. If you haven't taken the chance to download your free copy and see what you're missing, I've put links in the description. With Altium Designer, creating these prototypes are a piece of cake. The efficient workspace has some of the best features in the industry. And through all the phases of your development, you'll be empowered to do your best work as you grow into its more advanced capabilities. The link below will provide you a free trial of the software so that you can check it out and see what Enterprise Class ECAD feels like. Now back to the project. In Altium, I added a schematic and components to accomplish the requirements that I laid out earlier, including integration of the Pi Zero, a simple audio amplifier circuit, an onboard ILI 9341 display connector, an audio decoder using the MSG EQ7 chip module, and finally connectors for the buttons, LEDs, servo, and power button. Wiring it up, I used just about every available pin on the Pi Zero. To create the board importing the board outline from Fusion DXF file, I placed components in the desired locations, then started with the auto router. 
Auto router got me 90% there. I made a few minor adjustments for aesthetics and then ran a DRC check on the board. After a couple sanity checks, I generated Gerber files and placed my order for boards over at JLC PCB. While I have all the equipment to mill my own boards, JLC PCB always has great quality, turnaround, and prices that I really can't beat. Check them out when you get a chance if you're looking for a great board supplier. With the circuit board good to go, I export a 3D model, then back in Fusion I replaced the board footprint with the one that I made earlier. With the design and electronics done, it was time to write software which will tell the Pi what to do to make this all work. For this, the logic was all written in Python for its easy use, compatibility, and large community of resources. While you can use anything to write Python, I prefer Visual Studio Code. So in Visual Studio Code, I wrote the smell -a vision class which implements logic to do a few things. One, initialize GPIO pins on the Pi, including those used for the display, buttons, LEDs, audio, and servo. Two, handle logic for starting and playing videos using the OMX player. Three, read the audio data from the MSGEQ7 chip, basically a graphic equalizer chip that'll pull out the selected frequency for the servo data. Four, control the fan and servo movement. And finally, five, organize all of this into a clean and scalable Python class. The final script is around 400 lines of code and pretty straightforward, consisting of an init and main functions and then around six helper functions. The source code will be made available along with all the design files once the project's complete. With that, I've completed just about everything I can do virtually for this project. Concept, design, ECAD, MCAD, and the software. With everything done, the boards and parts ordered, that's where I'm going to wrap this video. In the next installment, we'll be assembling the circuit board, milling and printing all the parts to bring this project together. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. It'll keep you in the know on future uploads. If you like this particular video, give it a thumbs up. It helps in a lot of ways, plus it lets me know you care. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions about this project or you have ideas for a video that you'd like to see made for the Centomatic, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. So far, it's been a lot of fun designing this and getting it to the point where it is, and I just can't wait to put it all together. Until then, be safe, have fun, and I can't wait to see you next time. Hey, if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. It's how we're building the community. Also, allow me to bring better content. Also, check me out on these other social networks. There's lots of cool stuff there, too.